Hey y'all, it's me. Stick around. I want to show you how I transformed this little grungy buffet into a gorgeous, beautiful, my fair lady. Buy this little buffet. It was so cute. The top of this buffet was really in bad shape. I decided to take air dry clay, rolled it out thin, took the IOD kindest regard stamp, stamped it into the clay, and then I tore little pieces and strategically placed them all over the top of the buffet with wood glue. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. It was ugly. But I just saw something in this piece. I just felt like it was gonna turn out to be an absolute beauty. I wasn't really crazy about Just Kindest Regards by itself. I took the Rose Tile Stencil by JRV, used sheetrock mud, and did a raised stenciling. I lightly sanded this down when it dried, and I am loving it. This piece of furniture was so grubby and so nasty and so yucky, and it was missing the door. I am using Debbie's Design Diary DIY Chalk Paint. DIY is a velvety, soft, luscious, creamy clay paint. There's only nine ingredients, plus love added, of course. There are no VOCs. It's highly pigmented. It's hands down the best chalk paint in the industry. I am so entranced by things like pieces of furniture that just look like there's no hope for them. You get them home, clean them up, do a little fixing, and you have a beautiful piece. One of the many things I love about DIY paint that it is reactivated with water. I use the Water Girl by Turquoise Iris. It puts out a fine mist of water, just enough to move the paint and help blend the colors. This piece was already beautiful, but you know, I'm a little extra, so I decided it needed a little bit more extraness, extraness, if those are words. If not, they are now. They need to be more extra. So, I decided to use the heirloom rose mold pattern and just put all those little beautiful molds all over her. Um, Boo decided he needed to be part of the show. Here I'm using that same rose tile stencil that I used on top for the raised stenciling to put beautiful stencils on both sides of this buffet. It is looking dreamy. seal the piece I use this clear wax it is like butter I slather it over the whole entire piece then I'm gonna take dark wax and I'm going to just work it into all the cracks and crevices of this buffet and wipe it back with a rag and of course my favorite yeah white wax that white wax is amazing it is just going to tone down all the darker colors make it almost look like a washed out piece which is definitely what i want i'll wipe it back with a dry cloth it is amazing already she's looking like the little fair lady not the big london bridge falling down now for the finishing touch, Golden Ticket Liquid Patina. I love this stuff. It just makes the whole piece shimmer. I'm going to water it down for the sides using water in a bowl. Use a foam brush and just paint it down and then let it drip and drain and then wipe it back with a rag. I'm gonna do the same thing to the top. Spray it, wipe it back. So I guess if there is a moral to the story, don't judge a book by its cover. You just don't know what a little fixing might do. You don't know what a little paint might do. A little cleaning up might do. Don't ever judge the book by the cover. To order any of the products that I've used in this video, see the link below in the description and hit that subscribe button, that post notification button, so you will be in the know for the next 
video that comes out. I sure hope you enjoyed watching my video. And as always, love y'all.